Uh, let's welcome our first guest, everybody. You have seen her in Ant-Man Quantumania. And you knew him from Riverdale, or you know him. You knew him, you know him, all the things, all the tenses. Um, and now you can see them together in the movie Lisa Frankenstein. It's in theaters Friday. Please welcome Katherine Newton and Cole Sprouse. <laughs> with a puppy. I'm just, you're welcome. Thank you. You're, yeah, Thank like, you I love puppies. You love dogs. You have three? I have three. Yeah. I have three poodles. There's Get Jack King, of ruler me. of all floof. Dan for Lady Bird, keep the madness rolling. And Starlight Rosebud, hella good boy, gonna need a big bank. This is Frost. What? Yeah. <laughs> And what's this one's name? Snowflake. This is Snowflake. I chose Snowflake because she has the same bags under her eyes that I do. <laughs> you need sleep. <laughs> like... I said, you're just as tired as me, Snowflake. <laughs> Let's do this oh thing. Oh my God, so cute. Um, so which which dog is in this video though? We have we have video right he here. He likes me. <laughs> what? Which dog is this? Oh, you got Starlight your... Rosebud, hella good boy, gonna need a big bank. His name's Buddy. He doubles as my caddy on the side. He likes to chase birds and. My other dog, Jack, professional golfer, okay? He doesn't go to the bathroom on the golf course, okay. pro, and he will like fetch my golf ball and bring it back to me so I can right. just practice. That's yeah. nice. He, my big guy, he just chases everything. He thinks he's a real dog. Do they usually allow, I feel like I have golfed and I don't know that dogs were allowed to come on the golf course. They're probably not, but I think, they just, they just don't say anything. That's very, you know what? You can always say sorry <laughs> later, do what you want. Yeah. There you go, yeah. that's the rule, yeah. Wait, and here, Cole, this is you, this is your Pomeranian, right? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> look at look at the close up on that, that's amazing. <laughs> What's your dog's name again? Uh, that's Bear or Goose. Bear, bear or Goose? Is it depending One of the two. on the day? I, <laughs> unlike oh. Catherine's dogs, uh, I don't think he has an ounce of dog left in him. <laughs> I think he is. Bird? Yeah, he's a little bit more bird, like goose, like, <laughs> like, a, a, goose. like a big goose. Okay. Bearing goose, it's a, actually, that's a book my son loves to read, actually, that's amazing. <laughs> this is kind of cool, because sometimes when you're in movies, you don't know people, but y'all been friends for a while, right? Yeah, long time. Yeah, when did y'all meet? Well. <laughs> well. Do you have different stories? <laughs> uh, Catherine revealed to me cool. only a month ago. Oh, that's right, we met a long time ago. That she asked for a photo of my twin and I at Bob's Big Boy in Los Angeles. I was around seven years old, huge fan, obviously. Who wasn't, right? Yeah. Everyone here is oh. fan. Um, and I'm lucky enough to be one of the people who got a picture with the Sprouse twins. I didn't Who remember I? the moment. No. <laughs> and I didn't tell him about it until way, way into filming because I wanted to like be cool. You know, I wanted yeah. to be like, we're both actors. Like we're the same. We we're are not the same. <laughs> <laughs> we are, we are not, not the same. same. <laughs> not at all. Well, you you did a photo shoot with because I mean he's a photographer, we talked about this last time, but you did a, a photo shoot with him and it kind right. of was like inspiring for this whole movie, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I um you know, I I've seen Cole multiple times throughout the years. We met again when he was on Riverdale and I was on Supernatural. And he kept talking about my poodles because I have these crazy dogs. And finally I asked you to just shoot and he shot it in my house with these wigs. And it was like, he, you came up with this narrative, like a woman who killed all her husbands and is just <laughs> collecting dogs and diamonds, you know? Um, and I feel like it was a precursor to our film. because Yeah, I gotta yeah. talk to my therapist about that idea. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot to dive in there. Yeah. Um, so ex explain, explain Lisa Frankenstein to, to somebody who has never seen it. Oh, did you hear that? The um, fan. Well, how would we explain this movie? Uh, I, think it's, I think it's a camp love letter um, to some of that 80s film and television that we were receiving. Yeah. Um, it deals with grief and you get to uh, build your own boyfriend, which is awesome. I won't say too much yeah. more. Yeah. No, I can't say too much more. Yeah. He basically got it, yeah. You build your own boyfriend like Kelly LeBrock in Weird Science. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, very much like That's that. one of my favorite mm -hmm. movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a really fun, weird movie to make and my co-star doesn't speak, so it was nice for me. <laughs> now the 
It was my favorite part of our friendship. Um, no, that is interesting. You don't speak in it, right? I don't. So that's kind of fun, like physical com like comedy, like physical act, like all that. I heard you went to mime school as well. I worked with a mime. What, what did, did you get out of the box or? Um, you... Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm here. You made it. I made it. Uh, his license plate, he's an incredible instructor. His name is Lauren Salm over in LA. Yeah. Uh, I knew I was in the right place because his license plate mm -hmm. just said, speechless. <laughs> oh my God. And I was like, yeah, this is probably it. Um, but we, we worked on movement coaching and all that for about two to three months. And then I yeah. showed up and I just wanted to help Catherine out. She carries so much of the weight of the movie that I was like, I gotta, I gotta do something. I, <laughs> I gotta do something if I'm gonna help her out here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was weird. It's weird to read a script and realize that you talk the whole time. Yeah. It's a little daunting, you know? But Diablo Cody wrote the best script ever and Zelda Williams, our director, was so, it was like the first time I worked with a director where she really had this open dialogue and communication to just talk to me about everything, from the hair, I was, I really wanted a wig, it was a great wig, the makeup, the wardrobe. So um, it was like, I didn't do it alone, and I couldn't have done it without Cole. Before yeah. we filmed, I saw him around, I'm like, are you sure we can do this? And he's like, we can do this, I got you. And it was really oh, fun. That's cool, that's fun to do with friends, too. Yeah, it oh, felt yeah, like friends. Blessed. It didn't, like, it's weird that you guys are gonna watch the movie now, because it just feels like, I don't know, it's like you do a movie like this and it doesn't feel like anyone's ever gonna see it. You know when you're young and you yeah. perform for your parents, like, after, like with your best friend, you come up with a routine totally. and you do it in the living room. Yep. I feel like you're all in my living room now. Yeah. And you're gonna that watch was Prince this movie. when doves cry for me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, my dance. Exactly. Yes. And you make your family watch it. So that's, that's the awesome. vibe. Can't yeah. say I erupted into spontaneous song and dance too often as a child. Gonna be honest with you, if you oh. catch me in Lowe's or Target, I'm probably doing it there too at 41. <laughs> I like to embarrass whoever I'm with. Just That's for great. fun. Yeah, yeah. 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 Get behind that. Just yeah. seems like a good time for me. Joining us now are the director and the writer of the film. Everybody, please welcome Zelda Williams and Oscar winning screenwriter Diablo Cody. movie I've ever seen. It was slightly calculated, the idea, you know, to do the 80s look today. But thank you very it. much, Kelly. I'm so excited to meet you. A ditto. So, yeah. I'm such a fan. Y'all are so talented. We're very stoked about this movie. So where did this movie idea come from? I don't know why. I just always thought, you know, I would, I wanted to write a movie about a relationship between a living girl and a dead dude. And Who it, doesn't? Yeah, I mean, the idea just Incredible. kind of knocked around in my brain for years and then COVID hit. Yeah. And I was trapped at home with three children who were suddenly homeschooled, which is probably the most horrifying thing imaginable. And I it thought- It was hard. It was so hard. Yeah. So I thought, I have to escape this at night. I'm gonna write this crazy, yeah. freaky, romantic movie. That's nice. So you, you write about young people, like a lot. So what were you like as a teen? Not as cool as I thought I was. Okay. That's what I'll say. I'm not, I, I didn't think I was cool. So I didn't, I was <laughs> See, very I aware. Did. I was delusional. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Homeschooled. That's the best. <laughs> what, were, what were you like in high school? Not much has changed, but I was a huge nerd. Um, yeah. I was on the tech committee. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> mm, check. And I was in circus club, so. You that were was... a hit, it was, this is amazing. <laughs> Wait, what were you, you loved golf, so you, that obviously yeah, kind no, of was your I peaked in high school for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's all downhill from there. I loved high school, but I wasn't there that much, right? I wasn't yeah. there. Academic. That's why you loved it. Academic. Yeah. <laughs> I ran for class president, never won. I was captain of my golf team, which was the best, total jock, and I was a nerd. I was in like the science academy, I loved school, yeah. That's awesome. It was good, good time for me. You homeschooled? Were you... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you were the smartest person in your class. Yeah, there was only one other competition and uh, he wasn't catching up. He wasn't. <laughs> All right, well, Zelda, were you a horror fan? Have you been into horror? Oh yeah. I, I wasn't allowed to watch it when I was really young. I was yeah. like the kid in my school where I was allowed to see Shakespeare in Love while everyone else was watching <laughs> the horror films. But as I got older, I ended up falling in love with them. I played a monster in a movie many years ago, and that kind of introduced me to loving all the makeup and the and the crazy the transformations. Yeah, it. the yeah. art of it really. From that point on, it was there was no looking back. Man, I'll tell you what, the hair and makeup teams on these movies, like they come out and oh, they yeah. transform people. It's incredible. 
the art department, the sets they create. It's, a, it's an incredible gift. Yeah. This is the only yeah. movie I've ever done where the male is in the makeup chair longer than me. That is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. it was nice. <laughs> and never happened. And he doesn't talk. Yeah. Wow. What are, what are, and he didn't talk. It was the best date ever. Um, well, I'm gonna ask Catherine and Cole, like wh horror movies, did y'all like those growing up? Were you into those? Oh, huge. Okay. Massive. What were like, what's one of your favorites? My favorite uh, still is uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. Oh. I mean, to me, I, I fell in love when I was a kid with all of the practical effects and set design and I became a huge monster guy. I fell in love with all the, the big kaiju monster battle movies when I was a kid. Zelda and I actually share a lot of the same tastes when it comes to monster movies and stuff like that. I'm a big practical effects guy. It was one of the reasons why I, you know, I read the script and, and it felt like a no brainer for me, truly. Yeah. No pun intended. Y'all are, y'all are, <laughs> y'all are probably, it's very nicely done. Y'all are probably too young, but my, I think the scariest thing I saw as a kid was um, mm. Freddy Krueger, was the scariest thing I ever saw. Was Freddy Krueger was my guy. Oh my God, we're so different. <laughs> I wouldn't go near a waterbed. Oh, because right. Because of that Johnny Depp scene, I was like, this is, and I was way too young to probably be watching it, but it terrified me, it didn't. Nightmare on Elm Street was your jam? Freddy's hilarious. Freddie's always ready with a quip right before he, he was, slashes okay. someone. Yeah, he's so kind of king of the one-liners, isn't he? That's, yes. Okay. I think he might have been one of my greatest inspirations as a writer. Yeah. See, oh, the, my God. Yeah. One of my greatest inspirations for nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I didn't see You were normal. That was years. the point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is scary. And I'm probably, my brother's like a decade older, so I probably should have been watching it. Um, well, we've got a game about oh, no. some of those monster movies next, which yeah. I'm going to fail at. Anyway, Lisa Frankenstein is in theaters this Friday. Y'all will be right back. Yeah.